So the end of the Pasuk Oz Melech is Mishpat Ahev, that he loves justice. And this is like it's written, a judgment that's written is a beauty to all of his uh, Hasidim and so forth. And like it's written on this Pasuk in the Siddur Imdach from the Middle Rebbe. My moim of the Alt Rebbe. Gam kia mishpat lios kol davar makom aroi. Also, the concept of mishpat is to have each thing in its proper place. Vishelo yia rasha machter chulo in order so that the wicked do not surround the righteous. Vishelo yia tagvores haral atov in order so that you don't have the bad overcoming the good. Mishpat Targum Vihilchasa Malchus Torah Shabal Peh Im Osik Vidash Hulus. So justice is translated as Hilchasa as Halacha, which is the level of Malchus Torah Shabal Peh in comparison to Zah, which is Torah Shabal If you study it, Vidash Hulu, You'll, uh, there's a concept of poverty, because there's no end to going up higher. Rashi Tilim, Rish Simin Chavtes, Havu Kavod Vaoz, Makan Shumrim Gavua. So it says, give strength and honor. From, from here, so here, from here, uh, we learn that uh, we say going upwards. So, and we have a concept of O's over there in Tehillim, and Rashi says this is a concept of going up higher. Now it's brought in Torah or in the Mimer, who is like Hashem, concerning Rav Yehuda, that he, uh, all, all his studies were in Seder Nezikin, Havaliskus is Azakai. To be to make the righteous, the meritorious, or the chayav and to obligate the one who is not ulafri benehem, and to divide between them in order to divide the external from the holiness, and will be separated all uh, workers of uh, iniquity. All the people who do bad will be separated from the holiness by um, saying that these people are righteous and these people are are obligated. And Shem look over there and Babir and in the explanation So it explains further Rabbi Huda Rabbi Huda that he wanted to draw down also in the damagers, Shem Makamaklipos, that the damagers are called the place of Klipos, Shem Arba Abbas Nazikin, which are the forefathers of damage. Uh, those That corresponds with the four Klipos. She Bilah Mavis Lenetzach, so that you'll swallow up death forever by purifying the Klipos. But like it'll be in the time to come. And the Masha, so he explains that Rav Yehuda, the Shita said, Amar per Kamaniach, that Rav Yehuda is going according to his opinion. That he says in the Per Kamaniach, Man de Boilem Hevi Chasidel, Kaimili Denizikin Hulu, that somebody who wants to be a Chasid, he should fulfill the words of Nizikin. Uh, so, so meaning to fulfill. Uh, the laws of damages. If you fulfill the laws of damages, then you're a chassid. Now it's written, Hashem is righteous in all his ways, and, and a chassid in everything he does. For example, what is a chassid over here that Rabbi Yehuda is talking about? So a chassid is, who I know saying, gives a uh, Expansively giving away more than the righteous. Fine, but Ashi, Bishabas, Pakirvav, Tafkuf, 
Kaf Amud Aleph, the Kach Al Derech Zolamayla, so to above, Mevachin Asadik Nimshach Hashpa, Mechol Derachav, you draw down the divine flow in all all the ways. Shu Bebachin Aspnimius, drawing down in an inner way. Shu Kamosh Yikaz Veisham Ru Derech Avaya Chulu, like it says, you'll guard the ways of Avaya. That means the ways of Hashpa, divine flow. All the paths of Hashem, again, all the paths, so to speak, of the, of the divine flow. Um, so, so that's Tzadik Hashem Bechol Drachav. So, in all his ways, in all the divine flow, so there's Tzadik, if you're Tzadik. But to, to drink, bring it down even further, in all of the acts, I know Lamata Basia Gashmius to have not just spiritual flow but also a physical effect. She Yehiagilu Gam Bechitsonius Mamosh to have a revelation also in the external. Kumo Bebesa Mikdash, for example, in the Besa Mikdash. Shahia Yod, it is Shalomai Lachulu to draw down a fire from above. Zeu Nimshak Mibichinis for Chasid. So that's drawn down from the concept of, of the Chasid, not just the Tzadik, Shul Chasid Elyon. Ari Khanpin, that chasid here it refers to the supernal chasid of Ari Khanpin of Kesser, Bikinas Erachapaim, supernal mercies of the divine countenance, Ubigudol Chasid, and great and great kindness, not just regular kindness, Bivitur Rav with a a um, letting go of a lot. Um giving away a lot at Shinit Yumshuk Gamla Matamata in order so that it should also Come down all the way. Because Hashem is so high, so the higher you go, so the further down it goes, it goes. He descends down into the heavens and the earth. And this is what it means that your Hasidim will bless you. Will bless like it says. Uh, b- b- this is how you should bless, meaning the ko is brought down. And this is what it means. Who is a chasid? Who does kindness with his maker? And with um, with his uh, with the shrina to draw down. So that's the concept of the of the nest. Uh, which is corresponds with the the, um, the the mother over the nest, which is the Shechina. Um, so, if you want Chasidecha Yivarchucha, you want the Bracha down all the way. So, you have to have the Chesed, Hamis Chasedim Kono, to dwell all the way down in the earth. And this is the concept of Aaron. Aaron is. Um, that with, with light you'll see more light. So Aaron is a concept of Rav Chesed in comparison to Avraham, who uh, corresponds with Chesed of Atzilos. So Aaron is from Lashon with, with with light. You'll see Aaron, Ahar and Nun, Orcha Nira. Like it says in, in the Mimer about how Aaron lights the menorah and the lights over there, also talking about um, Revelation from Ari Khanpin. Therefore, somebody wants to be a chasid and draw it all the way down, so he has to fulfill the words of Nezikin to separate the external. That through this, He'll change darkness to light. And further, there is a concept of making the meritorious uh, correct in their judgment. So because when the Chayev, uh, the one who's guilty, accepts the judgment, so both the uh, both 
Baledin, both the uh, the the one who's Zakai and the one who's Chayv, both of them beco- become the, on the level of Zakai. Who taking out what he stole from him? Like the concept of the the uh, swallowing of the treasure and spitting it out. So the uh, evil when it spits out the treasure. So uh, it, it it becomes meritorious. So it's found then that the darkness has changed to light. So this is in in, in Nizikin only, which is not the case when you have something forbidden and permissible like uh, food. So the the forbidden does not uh, at the end become permissible, like at the end of a, a judgment. So this is what it means that the justice is of Hashem are true, and they're they're tzaddikim together. That they both have a concept of tzedek uh, at the end. That they both become zakai at the end. So you're purifying the uh, the external uh, forces uh, and the division to both become included in the holiness. Like it says, and will be come, um, um, embarrassed uh, in your friend uh, if you hit him too much. So it calls him your friend. So I said, you said, once you hit him, so you consider him like your brother, no longer like a um, a guilty party who deserves lashes. And we can say further in this concept of Somebody who wants to become a chassid needs to learn a zikin. It's also a concept of including the left side and the right side. Because you have four fathers of damages, the ox and so forth. That all of them are descended. In the gradation of create of the process of creation from the leftovers of the, the holy gvuras. So what's left over from gvura? Uh, it comes from the left side of the merkava, the pneshor, the face of the ox, of the supernal chariot. So when you have a, uh, a purification of gold, so you have dregs from the gold. From the purification process, and that's that's also just like gold is a concept of gvura. So to the leftovers, the dregs are a concept of gvura. That's the sigim, and so you have the leftovers of the face of the ox, in holiness, and that's the left side. So the leftovers are also a concept of sigim from that, so to speak. Um, and uh, that's the nizikin below the shore of a mazik. However, when you fulfill the words of Nizikin, by fulfilling the halachas of damages, so you include the left side and the right side by purify and, and it purifies it. And look about what what it says about the forefathers of damages in the Zohar Kadosh. In the Raya Mehemna, Pashas Mishpatim, Tav Kuf Yud Ches, Bemore Or, Ostalit, Sif Lamed Beis, Kasav, Shem Chach Morbina, Tav Umem De Klippa. So it says there, Chach Morbina, Av Klippa. And, Av Un Mash, and Tav Umem, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe Chesed Vigvora. So you have the four levels of klipa, which correspond with the four concepts of damages. Um, so how do you include the left side and the right side? This is through Tiferes, which is the middle path, the middle line. Like it's brought in the holy letters in the Tanya, concerning the verse that the act of charity will be peace. 
So peace is, to, is between two sides, the left and the right. And that is what's called mishpat. Like we're saying here that we have mishpatim, uh, which is to include the right and the left side together. Uh, according to what it says in another place, I have for Shemain Tefillah the difference, the difference between davening and learning Torah, Shat Nikres Milchama, that davening is called a battle, the concept of fighting Esav, that the evil is standing against against you. That is only in davening. That's the service of a person. But Torah, which are the words of the Holy One, blessed be He. Once you say that this person is guilty or this thing is no good, so also the evil is obligated to accept his words. Like even Bilam said, I can't go over the words of Hashem, so the Torah has a strength to include and purify the other side, whereas in Davening, it's a, there's this idea of a constant struggle in a battle, Whereas in Torah there's peace. That's why Torah is called peace. And this is why uh, the Pasuk says, you, I, I, you have redeemed my soul with peace. That which is the Torah. From the battle. Uh, to me, which is the, the time of prayer. Uh, the Zohar says, is the time of battle, like we said here, so, so, so the Torah saves you from this battle, because, it, because with Torah, it's, it's done through peace. And that's why it says, Zion will be redeemed with Mishpat, like we said here, that Mishpat refers to the concept of uniting the opposites of, of Chesed and Gura, because Torah is called Justice and peace. So this is the concept of mishpat of mishpatim. So this is the ve'ela mishpatim. Amr Razal pasuk vaya emunasi techachos in Yeshuos. Our sages also said on the pasuk in Yeshaya, and uh, the belief of your times will be a shield of savings. Yeshuos the seder nizikin chulu that the dorash each each word in the pasuk on a different seder of Mishnah in Yeshuos, the saving refers to the Seder of damages. So we see here that Nezikin is also a concept of like we said, redeeming or saving is through Nezikin, this concept of Shalom, of uniting the two sides. And that's why it further says in Yeshaya, in another Pasuk, uh, you should guard Mishpat. Tikrova Yeshua see because my Yeshua is close to come, therefore you need to keep Mishpat, which corresponds with this idea. That the Yeshuas are also synonymous with the five strictnesses that are that are sweetened, that they're called Yeshuas, so they're drawn down through um Mishpat. Justice. That in order to have that, he'll give strength to the king. Sorry, sorry. That bring the like he said in the previous paragraph. You have to first have to fight the battles. And like will be explained. And this is drawn through this justice. And this is what it means, that the strength of the king, is, he loves Mishpat, that in order to have Oz Melech, you have to have Mishpat Ahev. And the concept is, The main concept of justice is to have each thing in its proper place, to take the stolen or the forced and so forth, and bring it back to the person who it belongs to. Hulu, Hukamoshikasa, Bi Yunamiyas, Min Lamed. 
ve'armon al mishpato yeshev, like it says in Yirmiya, that the palace will sit on its in its right place. Val derech zeh ne'amar beparshas ve'yeshev k'mishpat harishon. And so too it says, um, like the first way it was. Um, and we talk about Uncle's Kehilchas Kadmaisa, and Uncle's translates like the first halacha. The first way it was. So that's the concept of justice, to each thing to be in its proper place. Because in the sin of the tree of knowledge, man was uh, was sent out of his proper place. And the, the worlds descended from where they were supposed to be. And in the time to come, the worlds will be fixed the way they were supposed to be like they were before the sin of the tree of knowledge like it's brought in the Medrash told us that there's two times it says Ela told us these are the descendants or the uh, outcomes male vashar chasur there's two times when it has told us spelled with two vowels, the, a full word, and the other times it's spelled um, missing those vowels. I knew Eile told us to shemayim ha'aretz and so that's the concept of, that these are the the outcomes of the heavens and the earth. We told us the gabe peretz, and so too the second time where it says we told us. In a full way, Male is by Peretz, Shetz Mimenu Mashiach, when Mashiach is, uh, comes from Peretz. And so when Peretz is born, so it says, Toldos full Shazai to Kanuha Olamoskulu, that they're both Tzadikim, and this corresponds with the fixing of the world. So the Ela Toldos Hashemayim Va'aretz is when the, the heavens and the earth are in their right place, and through Mashiach, that, that'll be fixed. Uh, from parrots, you'll have also the worlds in the right place. So that's why that's when you'll have told us male in its full way, the outcome of the heavens and the earth. That's why sanctifying the new moon is also called mishpat in the Gemara. The Gemara is Peregimodera Shoshana, Ki Nei Mitchila Hayuah Chama Ve'Levanu Shnei Meoros. So similarly to in two things in the right the things in the right place. The idea is that at first, the sun and the moon were these two luminaries, Hagadolim. They were great. They were both big. Shavin bekomasan, equal in their standing. And then afterwards, through uh, the, the uh, ridicule, the accusing of of the moon, Ismaita Levana, the moon was decreased, and darkness covered its light. And each Rosh Chodesh, there's a fixing of this, the, the concepts that darken its light are, uh, are separated. Umekachi Machodesh, and we sanctify the, the, the month, Aliyah Malchus, Bor Abba, which is an idea of Malchus being elevated into the light of Abba, Kodesh Elyon, which is the concept of Kodesh, to sanctify supernal holiness of Chachma. So instead of Malchus being descending and going down, it goes back up and is united with its source. And included, and so to speak, nullified in its source, which is why you can't see it. So this is also the concept of Mishpat, and why Kiddush HaKodesh is called Mishpat, to place the, the thing on its, in its proper place. That the king with Mishpat will stand the earth, and 
All this happens with the mishpat that a person does in his soul. By purifying the other side and including it within the holiness. Or maybe he's referring to the concept of mishpat and zikh, of cheshbon and nefesh. Maybe we'll see. Vod lomar. And further we can say, in the concept of the strength of the king, is that he loves justice. Now it's written, that the justices of Hashem are truth. And it's written, that someone who guards truth forever is someone who does mishpat, so, um, so what's the connection between MS and Mishpat? So MS is the seventh attribute from the 13 attributes of mercy. And our sages said, all sevens are beloved. So the concept of MS is beloved. Uh, and that's why the seventh month of Tishrei, you have the just the judgment. So because because we love truth, and Mishpat is truth, so therefore on the seventh month, which is the seventh mida of uh, seventh mida of Yud Gimel Midos, we have a uh, Mishpat. A Rosh Hashanah, Mishpat Leluke Yaakov, and a, and a Mishpat, a just judgment to the God, for the God of Yaakov, Ein Mashikaz of Sof Dibor Dibor Hamaschil Tiku Bechodesh. Look what it says in the Mimer of Tiku Bechodesh. Zev Ozmelech Shuv Rosh Hashanah, and this is why it says the strength of the king, the building of Malchus to Gvuros, which is on Rosh Hashanah, Malchuyos Mishpat Ahev. Of uh, kingship that he loves justice, bechinas ms, which is the concept of ms, atekonanta misharim, that you have um, established straightforwardness, ki tishrei osios yishras, because tishrei is the are the letters of straightforwardness, and like we said, to have each thing in its proper place is the concept of mishpat as well, binyan misharim, konanta misharim, so in the concept of straightforwardness. Of straightforwardness, Pedrosh Bezor Chilak Aleph Lech Lecha Pevav Beis. So it says in Zohar Kadosh, Man Misharim Tadar Gai Lo Diakov Shar Yabei. That this is the supernal level that Yaakov rests in. So Misharim and Mishpat Lelke Yaakov are connected. Uh, so the straightforwardness is the concept of Yaakov again. The concept of Shalom. Yaakov is Tiferes. Which uh, corresponds with the concept we said here. That you have established uh, straightforwardness. So, that the Holy Mombasa Bihi has done straightforwardness to the two sides. Again, a concept of uniting the two sides. Hulu, and it says that the middle pole uh, it goes in between it goes in in the middle through the levels and unites the levels again the same concept in order to include strictness uh, sweet, uh, kindness and strictness together through Yaakov um, who is Tiferes as well that's why he is called the uh, sign of truth. Bezor Achil Gimel Rish Parshat Zvikra Vechein Isa Beparshat Shmini Daf Lamet Tesamud Beis Al Pasuk Chol Lech Ledodi LeMisharim On the verse that it goes to my beloved in a straightforward way. Also, the concept of Midas Yaakov and Tiferes Beparshat Sachri Daf Lamet Tesamud Dalef Berish Misharim Him Train Kruvin Tachar Venukva and in Parsha Sachre, in Zohar Kodesh, it says, Misharim are the two Kruvim, the masculine and the feminine, Vizehu Inyan Sadik And this is the concept uh, that he is 
uh, righteous and straight. So we see the concept of tzaddik, which is tzion, yisod, um, and yashar is the concept of tiferes. So you have a unification of the two kruvim of dachar v'nukva uh, through yisod. So so tzaddik and yashar are connected. And the main concept of straightforwardness, the, the, straightforward, forward, the straightforward ones, that is, that it should be below, just like it is above. Again, the equation of, of these two sides, here it's below, above and below. Like it says in another place, on the verse, to do the straightforward in the eyes of Hashem, to have this revelation, is uh, through having that you should see the countenance in a straightforward way. Like it's brought in Vayikra Daf Tezvav, which is a concept of revelation of the countenance face to face. Um, this, so to have this revelation from the highest level of the, of the countenance, the supernal countenance, is through equating the above and below. And this is again the revelation of the Tikkun of the MS, the, in order to draw down the concept of Hashem's truth to the world. Again, the concept of uniting the opposites. And like we said before, by the concept of Tishrei, which is the seventh uh, tikkun of the MS, that corresponds to this idea as well of uniting the opposites. And this is the idea of that these are the mishpatim that you should place in front of them. That the revelation is the concept of the supernal countenance, lifneim, being the level of panim bepanim. Uh, through the concept of mishpatim, of uniting the opposites, davka yashar yechazu panemo, that you'll see straightforward the countenance. V'hainu ki gadesh yihi agilu lamata kamu lamay lamam ashmuch rach liyot shor hasham shechazu lamay lamishtashlus. That in order to have this revelation above, just like it is below, just be- below, just like it is above, much rach liyot shor hasham shechazu lamay lamishtashlus. You have to draw down from beyond the order of uh, the gradation of the gradation process of creation in Yin Yisa Hashem Panavilacha, who in Yin Yisa Hashem Panavilacha, and that's the concept of that Hashem will shine His countenance upon you. So we're talking about the countenance. This means we're going beyond the order of creation in order to unite the opposites. Ukamayim Nazal in Yin Omer Al Tamei Tahor, like it's brought in what I say just said, with the concept of someone who says. Um, on something that's impure, that it's pure, or mare lo panim kulu, and uh, shows uh, sides to the argument. The meaning, to, uh, so what does it mean, mare lo panim? That's showing how the you can unite them from going beyond the shtoshlos, from beyond the order, to, in order to unite the opposites. Shemit bechinas mare lo panim, because from the idea of uh, showing the countenance. You can change darkness into light. And this is, will be in the time to come. That the Dover Acher, the Chazir, will um, in the future become pure. And this is uh, to, to do Mishpat, to do justice, to change the darkness into light by drawing down from beyond the Ishtalshlus from the Maripanim, and you can then have the below to be like above, even to the point of purifying the um, the, the source of the Klippos, the Chazir, uh, or like he says here, the, the four Klippos and the, and the Arba, Avos, Nazikin, and the and the four fathers of damages, which corresponds with, with the evil that we purified. Vazenem are Matir Asurim, and on this it says that Hashem releases the forbidden, meaning to say, to elevate the uh, the evil th- that's in this world. So what does it mean, Matira Surim? So it's brought in Medrash Tehillim, that you're going to change the forbidden to the permissible. 
Unless you love in the time to come, find why they agil or bechinus emes through the revelation of the concept of truth through marilo panim kulu, and to show uh, the the countenance again from beyond the shalshlus to unite the opposites. V'zen im shachay diham mishpat, and this comes through the concept of justice shem hafech kam kein mechashochel and ahora kanal, which changes darkness to light. V'zeu magid varav liyakov kukov mishpat of lisrael. This is the idea. Of that he says, his words to Yaakov, his justices, uh, his, his statutes and his laws to Israel. <laughs>